Hey everybody, stay here at Rogue Fabrication. We are going to be straightening this tie rod. This is a solid steel tie rod from a roughly 6,000 pound tractor. And uh, somebody was confused on tractors versus rock crawlers, I think. Um, well, let's figure it out. So I'm gonna set it on a relatively flat surface. It's farm equipment. We don't have to do this perfectly. And I'm just gonna mark basically what part's gonna be up in the machine. We're gonna be bending this way. So up is gonna be Basically right there. I'm just eyeballing a mid-plane. If you want it perfect, half the material's thickness with a straight edge would be a perfect way to do that. So, I'm also gonna just visually mark where the center of this bend is. It's right about here. So, we're gonna eyeball that and draw a second line right here. And that's where the bend is gonna go. Now, this is one of our older style frame, so it's missing the alignment holes. Ordinarily, I could take that straight line I just drew and put it through those holes in the frame. And that's exactly where the bend would start. So since this does not have that feature, I'm gonna go off of, since we're using a three and a half CLR die, we're gonna offset four and a half inches. So if we go forward, one, two, three, four and a half. That's where our clamp block is gonna go. Fun fact about this tie rod, it was discovered on this piece of equipment after quite a lot of use. It was uh, slowly machining itself down on other components on the vehicle. So <laughs> we're gonna make that not happen anymore. Now this has tie rod ends at both ends, which is okay with us. Uh, we're gonna have to do this one upside down, I think. So there are no rules when you're doing your clamp lock on pieces that are pre-bent. So we are going to flip the clamp lock upside down. It's gonna give us better access to more of the holes. So no problem there. Perfect. Looks like the two and a half fits nice. Okay. I'm checking to make sure I can see our line to make sure we don't have this rotated too much. It is farm equipment, so we don't have to be perfect about it. Okay, so that's tight. We're at a third of a degree here. And I'm gonna zero this out as well. We've got about 11 degrees to go. Okay, we're zero there, and 0 0.41 here. So for a tie rod for a tractor, 0.37, um, that's straight to me. I don't need to do anything different. I overbent by about half a degree, and good enough for farm work. Yep, that's definitely a lot straighter. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a jog in it, but uh, it's either replace or deal with it being much straighter than it was. This is also gonna correct our toe alignment because uh, 
whoever bent it did the toe alignment, toe in that would be, by uh, bending the tie rod. So we've now corrected that. No need to do any other adjustments other than just check it with a tape measure and it'll be good to be put back in service. This is solid bar and you should definitely look up the capacity specs on your tubing bender before you bend anything solid in your machine since it can be pretty high load bending but there it is probably exposing the uh, kind of black eye of it being a little bit wavy now but way straighter than it was if you guys have found this information useful or entertaining or interesting at all go ahead and leave a note in the comments for us and let us know what else you've seen bent that is not supposed to be bent because i'm sure tie rods are not the end of that thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe check that bell to so have notifications that we can be the first person back here when the next video drops we'll see you in the shop